me. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. <laughs> Meet Stefan. This is my new plan, Stefan. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I love you. <laughs> I woke up and I done yoga and some meditation and I'm like such a free spirit right now. <laughs> I need a haircut like ASAP. I feel like my hair is very damaged and I don't know why. Like maybe it's stress. <laughs> I have this candle oil from this shop, um, a very like spiritual shop for meditation with like crystals and stuff. Obviously I brought myself a crystal. I got myself an amethyst for Amethyst, <laughs> for meditating. And I got like a lot more, but I'm not gonna go into them. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm in like the best mood ever for this. And I'm so ready for this. And like, I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel so comfortable in my own existence right now. I feel I'm very grounded into the earth. I think it might be my um, smoky quartz crystal that I brought the other day. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Like, what's up? <laughs> I like how all wax around that thingies. Cause the wires are proper like going into my gums and I'm like bleeding and shit. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like when I shout, my voice just goes very ugly and I just don't like it. So, and I was just getting uglier cause I'm trying to speak quiet. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing very well. I hope you are chilling, you know, get ready for this. I feel like today is gonna be such a beautiful, album that we are going to receive from Shawn Mendes. Oh yeah, I watched Shawn's documentary, of course, on Netflix, uh, twice. <laughs> and like when he was crying, I had to cry with him. Like he can't be crying alone. One song on the album that I heard in a documentary, and I'm not sure how it goes even, I can't remember, but I'm really excited for it. Okay, the songs I'm claiming, Look Up At The Stars, I'm obsessed with stars. Also claiming Higher, you know. <laughs> Teach me how to love could be very interesting. Yes. Some people do need dedication on love. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And you can follow me on my other social media, like Instagram, etc. in the description below. And I haven't posted on Instagram in two months and I'm so disappointed in myself. Yes, oh my God, last thing. I started playing chess. Have no idea what the fuck is going on. Right, how the hell do you checkmate on chess? I literally have like eight pieces left and the guy, the opponent has won, the king, and I can't do anything about it. I always get a draw, every single time I get a draw. It's like, <laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> this song is intro, let's begin. Yeah, yeah, so I've heard this. It's such a beautiful song though. <laughs> His voice. <laughs> All I need is instrumentals like this for this album, and I am done for it. Oh. Okay, I feel like I just want to skip one blur straight away. I'm just skipping most of it, but what a song. Okay, I can say undoubtedly, undoubt, however you pronounce that word, that this is such an underrated Shawn Mendes song and it makes me very sad. This song is such a good comeback song and it's just such a perfect song overall and it's, in my opinion, one of his best songs. So the first song we have not heard and it's called Higher. So the song I also claimed. I can't get much higher. Wow, that was so interesting. That was so interesting. I don't know why that gave me such Egyptian vibes. Like, love it, obsessed. Probably my favorite song on the album already. <laughs> I can't get much Yo, so oh, I was not expecting this. I have already got chills. I was not expecting to have this Shawn Mendes in this album, and he, he just come in like this. <laughs> you can't get this off guard like this. This beat. Oh! <laughs> it's like my boobs are moving, but I don't have any. <laughs> He just don't, he doesn't want to 
I don't want the chorus to be this too long. I was just low-key hoping inside that the would not be the chorus, but it is, and it's everything I wanted. And I just didn't want it because it's going to be too perfect. Production, the production of this album is just going to be out of this world. A bit too much at the end here. I would like more of the like just that, like one more time, because it only happened well at the beginning and like at the uh, the first kind of like chorus, I think. But uh, still, I am shook by the production of this. <laughs> He did something. What an artist. I'm already putting out my playlist. <laughs> this is such a different song to what I was expecting this album to give me already. So like I'm genuinely shook straight away. The probably the best thing. Whoever invented that sound medal. An incredible song. Okay, next one. 24 hours. We're slowing it down. All it takes 24 hours. Time to check in the piano. Beautiful song. I love the piano, like with his literally just one note after the other, or like not just like you know a lot, and it's just very calm. I can just imagine him sitting by a fire playing the piano and just doing this like proper freestyling. Really? Well, you're lucky. I owe you a thing. <laughs> That's what. Give me the vocal song, yes. Oh, it was a beautiful song. It will be a skip for me personally, but yeah, it's a it's a very nice, pleasant song to listen to, especially like by the fire when it's nice and like snowing outside by the fire, which I don't have. But <laughs> by the oven, I just like red LED lights and like, yeah, just enjoy the vibe. Next one, teach me how to love. Ooh, your body's like an ocean. This is it. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. I was already chills. That's the song I was talking about from the talk documentary that I said I was looking forward to. Oh my God, did you hear that vocal? The ooh! <laughs> Calm down. A fan, it's a fanboy moment. Bitch. And ooh, what do you desire? Yeah, okay, let's hope the whole song is good. Okay, teach me how to love. Okay, I did definitely want this song to be more like the first 10 seconds of the song, so like this. Ooh, your body's like an ocean. Definitely would have liked if more of those kind of vocals and that kind of vibe was more throughout the song, at least one more time, you know? Just as a moment in the song, not just at the beginning. But either way, I love the song. So far, I've saved literally every single song apart from 24 Hours. This is looking like an album. Call My Friends. Yes. Da -da -dum. I like this song. Yeah. It's not like something I'll go back to a lot, but I really like this song. I don't know, it has something to it. Friends. 
I will not save it to my playlist, but I will definitely return to it. Yes. Okay, dream. Do -do -do. Hello, hello, hello. Can I hear an echo? Purple, red, and yellow. Hello, hold it. Documentary. <laughs> I was also worried, so I was really looking forward to it from the documentary. This is gonna be a beautiful song. Hello, hello, hello. Can I hear an echo? Purple, red, and yellow. Bow. This is it, Sean. It's dream, 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 dream. About you. This is it. This is beautiful. This is one of the best ones of the album already. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite songs of the album. The chorus. A masterpiece. It is so magical. It is so euphoric. What a beautiful chorus in the way he did it because the verses are like kind of like a bit fast paced because it's going, but like completely different verses to the chorus. I feel like the chorus completely changes from the verses to like a completely new song of the chorus. Like I would never expect this to be the chorus from the verses when I'm listening to the verses. I'm look, I would be thinking of more of an upbeat chorus, but this just slows it down and it takes it all the way to like this proper fucking... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like that was like proper fucking... <laughs> like to this proper space vibe, like it just like... It's like... Blow, like it just blows up into space, like nice and smoothly, and it's like... Dreams... Beautiful, beautiful. Why do I do this? Like a horse. <laughs> I drew, I do, I do, I said I drew. <laughs> Too many dreams. It's like you fucking manifested me. <laughs> wow. That song was over three minutes. Shut up. That lasted like one minute. That was so fast. I could say this could be my favorite song of the album. Written by just, just Sean Mendes. See? When you only see that word name, the talent really snaps. Okay, next one. Song for no one. Couple texts, none of them who I'm looking for. Most things are better in my dreams cause I'm with someone. Someone. Oh my god, did you feel that? Did you feel that lyrics? Oh, I just got chills, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I really felt that word. Oh my god, beautiful. Yesterday I got pretty drunk, said some things that I should Told you that I really love you, you did not reciprocate this feeling okay. Yo! <laughs> why are you do? why are you singing about my life? <laughs> Lyrically wise, amazing song. You know, I feel like a lot of people can relate. I certainly do. <laughs> I really thought this was going to be a skip. Wow. What a way to do that. I really thought the song would just be stable, like the whole song, pretty much the same kind of tempo and the same kind of sound throughout the whole song. But I was very, very, very mistaken. And I'm very, very, very happy <laughs> about that. Like, obviously this was before Camilla. Next song is Monster featuring Justin Bieber. I've heard the song. Yeah. Like, it's a really good song, especially that it's a feature. It's a great song for a feature. Yeah. I don't know, it's just weirdly not my favorite from the album. Like, not even close. Next song, 
305. Very different. Yeah, this is a skip for me for sure. And that's something happens in the second part, but sorry. <laughs> But one little change in a song can just change the whole aspect of the song and the way you are feeling the song. It's insane. Like, completely wasn't into this. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it will be a skip for me, but I do see myself enjoying it on tour when like he performs it, because I just know he's going to have so much energy for the song and he'll just make it so much better than it sounds. I like the change, how different the song is from the rest of the album, but it's just, it's not it for me. Okay, next one. Always been you. Okay. It's a fairy tale I can't explain Full of words that don't know how to say I'm sorry, but my ring just broke and I am shook if I only got it like last week. Are you f actually kidding me? It just broke apart. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I was waiting for this one because I seen it in a documentary when it's like, a, oh, it's, he was doing that in a car, I think. He was in a car when he was singing that. So, yeah. It's always in you, it's always in you. I swear that you've been sent to save me. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I swear that you've been sent to save me. That's how I feel. <laughs> it's always in you, it's always in you. I finished. Oh my god, I love that word. Oh wow, that's one of my favorite. Because <laughs> I've seen a documentary, so I've seen how like serious he was about the production of the song. And it showed, it showed. I'm sad how short the song is. It's like such a powerful beat, like you know, like and it's like it's always been you, it's always been you. <laughs> okay, next one. Piece of you. Yeah, it makes me wanna cry. Okay, oh, vocally, it's gonna be incredible. It's one. so hard, but it's true. Hey. Everybody wants a piece. Oh my god, I don't even wanna play a bum bar. <laughs> Did you hear the rasp in his voice? That, uh, okay, let's start again. This could be a really good song. <laughs> the rasp. Everybody wants a piece. I'm obsessive, I'm pathetic, I'm obsessive. The superior song of the album. I think this is I think this is the particular taste of the album. So until you hurt. Yo, his lyrics are just getting more relatable by every song, doesn't it? The low B in the background, the and then the kid's voice. One, two, three. So do I. Everybody wants a piece. Do you hear that? Very Lana Del Rey vibes. Um, don't know what song she uses that quite a lot. Too much talent. Too much talent. I am so blown by this one. I was really not expecting it. This could be my favorite song of the album. Oh my God, I can't pick now. That could be a single, and that could be such a huge single piece of you right here. But then I said that about particular taste and that didn't get released as a single. My battery died. Look up at the stars. It's the next song. Look up at the stars. 
Oh. oh, I heard on a documentary, I think. Floating <laughs> like pieces of art, floating above the ground. Team, yeah. The universe is ours. I'm not gonna let you down. That's how it felt being on this tour. Like the universe is yours. I am <laughs> it was a good song, it was cute. It would be a very beautiful song for Tor. And it's overall a beautiful song. It's just for him and for us in the stadium together. Yeah. <laughs> okay, last song, Can't Imagine. Let's end on a beautiful one, let's do that, Sean. I can't imagine Sounds like he's outside. despite the lyrics. <laughs> Obviously it's not a song I would say that I would like listen to, but I just love that it, this is an outro song and then with him talking at the end. What a perfect way to end it. That was so cleansing to my soul. That last song, like, it literally felt like it was outside in like a forest or a jungle or by a beach and just chilling and like in Hawaii and then just playing a guitar and then just like freestyling this. And it's just wonderful. All I want to do right now, after I finish this, is just take this album and go into nature and then just sit down and just play it. Let's talk about the album. Wow. <laughs> like, I'm so at peace right now. I hate that only Sean can... He did, he did this with Wonder. That's how calm I was at the end of Wonder. I loved, loved this album. But I like, I like this new thing he did. I don't think he ever really went so much into producing as he did with this album. We didn't get as many of his vocals, you know, like exploding vocals, but we did get some of them and like every single one of them, just treat it as literal gold. There's like a fairy just sprinkling magic. <laughs> it is nothing that I would have wanted more from this album. Like I'm thinking, like, I got everything I wanted. Like, there's just no song that was missing. Like, you know, there wasn't a vibe that was missing. It just delivered everything I wanted. <laughs> wow, what did he do to me? I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, if you do, if you, no, yeah, if you did, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one and just going to say goodbye and just fly away with this calm emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Only way I can describe this album is if it came to emojis, it would be the stars emojis, but there's more than one star, like a Christmas tree emoji without the lights and a cloud emoji, possibly the two leaves um, floating just to give that sign of um, the calmness and the peace this song, this album brings. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so calm, what the fuck. I don't, have you ever seen me this way? <laughs> it's so weird. It's impossible to compare it with the last album, which again, shows how incredible of an artist he is, like the change and the growth. I hope you have a good day. Um, stay at peace, you know. Go and do some meditation. Literally, if you're feeling shitty, however you're feeling, tense or whatever, literally get on the floor or in your bed and do some meditation. Mwah. <laughs> okay, I literally want to give you a hug. Though. Hey, <laughs> okay, bye and adios. Uh,